Hi, I am Dwight Allen O'Neill. I'm super excited to be here today with you with LA Talk Radio. I am a influencer and live streamer and Beegoer from the app Bego Live. So Bego is one of the top apps in the world where you can live stream and create content um, day in and day out, 24 seven, every day of the, every day of every the day. year. <laughs> and connect with individuals in such unique ways. So I'm here to actually chat about the app and so much more. So I'm so pumped about being here. Thank you for having me. I'm Thanks so for excited. being here. And shouts out to all my Bego family. <laughs> yes, hello Bego. Okay, great. So I love that you're bringing this platform to our platform for people who don't know what it is. Why don't you tell me what attracted you first, attracted you to Bego and what you love about it now? Yeah, so I initially um, stumbled across Bego um, during a time where uh, we all were at home in pajamas eating bonbons and not able to leave our house. Um, we yes. call that the pandemic. Um, I remember we thought the apocalypse was going to be, you know, zombies coming, but I was waiting no, for it. Was, <laughs> it was us in our PJs. But, um, Bego was a way for me to um, connect with individuals outside of my home. Um, at the time, I lived in New York City, and you know, I was a single person in New York, so I didn't really have you know anyone around me to really connect with. So Bego kept me connected with the outside world, and um, from there, I was able to grow to build an incredible platform. And yeah, I'm here today. <laughs> I love that, and you really did, like you said, you know, historically, just turning those lemons into lemonade constantly. Um, so what? would be the perfect candidate um, now that we're we're in the endemic who would be the perfect candidate to get on to the bego platform like how why would someone choose that platform or how would that help them go to the next level maybe oh my god anyone oh my god anyone any and everyone can be on bego bego has a place for all of us whether you decide to be a broadcaster or if you want to be just someone that goes as a fan or a supporter um, I myself have created my own very own talk show. I host Good Morning Bego, where I deliver hot topics, celebrity gossip, news inside and outside of Bego, all wrapped up in a positive message. So I'm all about like what you put out is what you get back. And yeah. I have people that tune into my show every morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, shameless plug, um, <laughs> who just Love tune it. in every day just to watch. And they're not necessarily, you know, host on the app, but they come to be entertained. They want to know what city Beyonce is going to be in next. They want to know the name of Rihanna's child, but they also want to know about the news and the happiness that's yes. happening inside Bego. And I deliver that day to day. So. Oh, I feel I feel the, the sunshine from you. I'm telling you that yellow is right here with me. And, mm -hmm. you know, I love that you put a positive spin on it. So let's get down to the business side, if you don't mind, because this is the startup. And a lot of people who are looking to start up, maybe even go to your platform, Bego, and they want to do similar content. Um, they want to build a, a platform with similar content or maybe something completely different. How do you keep yourself organized and how do you curate the content or decide what takes precedence in your streaming? Yeah, so I approach Bego like a job. And anyone that wants to be a host on the app, I ask them this question. Are you approaching this as a hobby? Mm -hmm. or are you trying to make this a career? Mm -hmm. And based on your answer is the advice I'm gonna give you. So we're gonna go through both. If okay. you're approaching it as a hobby, then great. Go live whenever you want to make it fun. It's going to be enjoyable. And, you know, don't overthink it. Like, go live, connect, make friends. But if you're really approaching this as a business, I ask the second question. Is it a part-time job or a full-time job? Mm. So, Monique, when you're working a part-time job, yes. about how many hours would you dedicate to a part-time job? Great. I'm a little bit of a workhorse. So my part-time job would probably be about 20 to 30 hours a week. Right. So 20 to 30 hours a week. So if you approach Bego as a part-time job, you should be investing 20 to 30 hours per week into the app. Does that mean going live for 20 to 30 hours? No, it does not. That means going into the app, connecting with other individuals. That means promoting your platform. That means taking time to decide what your content's gonna be. That means going on the internet like myself, researching hot topics, researching what's happening in the world. I like to do Manifestation Mondays about positivity. So me finding manifestation music, like really putting in the work, creating graphics, like putting that time into what I'm trying to create. And mm -hmm. that's what I mean when I tell people, they're like, oh, I, I have to go live 30 hours a week. No, but you do need to go, you do need to really plan out your content and plan out 
what your strategy is going to be within the app. If it's a full-time job, 40 hours a week, ideally, then yeah. you should invest 40 hours into your platform. And again, right. that means going into other people's broadcasts, supporting them. That means going on YouTube, watching videos to learn about the app. That means partnering with your agent because you have to have an agent to audition, finding out more information. That means downloading an app called Canva, creating free promo material. Yeah. That means reaching out to all your friends and families in your phone and inviting them to your live broadcast. So you wanna make sure that you approach it that way because mm. if you wanna actually earn an income from the app, you have to do the work. Nothing in life is gonna be free. Nothing in life is not gonna come without putting in any type of work. Uh, Dwight's over here dropping the business tea, even though I had a business <laughs> smoothie. <laughs>